everyone, Ryan Embry here at the Hunter Hotel Investment Conference. I'm here with Michael. Michael, thank you so much for being here on The Sweet Spot. Yes, thank you for inviting me. Yeah, since this is your first time, uh, let's go ahead and share a little bit about your background. Um, so I've been in hospitality for almost 30 years at this point. Um, right. Started in operations a long time ago at water parks. Yeah. Um, then transitioned to hotels uh, about 15 years ago in finance and just kind of worked up around the country and through the ranks to where now I'm with the current company that we're at, Castle Rock. Uh, I'm curious, what was your first hospitality job? Because I've, I've had the gamut from bellmen to front desk agents, uh, night auditors, what, what was yours there? Lifeguard. Lifeguard, okay, yeah, <laughs> see, that checks another one off the list. There so, uh, Well, we're here at the Hunter Hotel Investment Conference, right? A lot, of, a lot of deals being made here, a lot of great information that was shared earlier today. Uh, you said this is your third time here. Uh, what do you expect when you come here and, and how has it evolved over the last couple of years? Uh, I mean, the market insights and the panels are obviously useful. Um, and, you know, the people that are speaking them, you know, have high regard and that they're given great information. I think for me, it's the, the continuing to build on the relationships that you meet and the networking. Um, as well as the potential to get deals done yeah. um, if, that's, if that's an opportunity that we're looking for. Well, something we certainly craved over the last couple of years is this relationship building and networking. Uh, hundreds of people here behind us doing just exactly that. Right. Uh, Michael, one of the panelists, one of those experts that you were talking about, uh, when asked, when posed the question, which market to be in, uh, they said Nashville. Now, luckily, you've got two beautiful assets right in the heart of Nashville. Uh, talk to us a little bit about that market and what you're seeing. You know, Nashville is a unique market. It's, um, you know, I, I think it's been in a growth and a boom stage probably for the last 10 years. It was one of the first markets to come out of COVID from a, if you will, a revenge travel yeah. or a transient perspective. You know, group has, has started to come back slowly but surely, but with as hot as the market it's been, we've had a lot of supply come into the market. Yeah. So, you know, right now, I think Nashville is coming back down to earth a little bit, maybe uh, still exceeding pre-COVID levels, but some of your more distressed uh, markets such as New York, San Francisco, they're starting to rebound yep. um, and show the growth there and Nashville's cooling off. However, um, with it still being a destination, you know, you're within, you know, 500 miles of, I don't know, 40% of the nation's population, if not more, it's still a great spot to come. It's just now getting a little bit more uh, strategic and, you know, really going after the business instead of in the past with the supply not there, it just came to just you. Just fall in your lap. Right. Yeah, and when you're running so hot, like we talked about, you know, sometimes there has to be at least a point where it's a kind of come back to earth moment. Correct. Um, but you talked about the supply in Nashville. One of the benefits uh, with your portfolio is you have a very unique property in the Bobby Hotel and the Bobby right. brand. Tell us a little bit about that uh, story of, of that brand and you know maybe expansion plans. Yeah, no, I, the, the story of the brand is, is really cool. Um, one of the principals is from Ireland and you know that was kind of his his vision uh, and he put that to life. You know, we opened in 18. It was probably one of the more unique hotels at the time that opened. Uh, a lot of times people, if they don't know Bobby Brand, if you say we're the hotel with the bus on the roof, it clicks. <laughs> um, you know, we've had, you know, really great success with uh, activations of our rooftop. And in fact, many of the supply, you know, the hotels, the supply that's coming in have mimicked and tried to capture some of that business on their own rooftops. Yeah. Um, but it's it's very much, you know, the, the common threads within Bobby Hotel is arts, you know, whether it's music, we have a rotating art collection that comes through. We're just about to uh, put out a new one. Uh, food um, and just the Nashville vibe. It's very curated yeah. for Nashville. That doesn't mean uh, tchotchke or, right. you know, cheesy. And in fact, as we grow, there are certain things that are, you know, we are going to identify and have identified as like brand standards for sure. Bobby, but they'll always be a unique twist of the market that we're going to. So that is really kind of our growth and our vision 
uh, as a company is to grow that brand. Obviously, if there's acquisition opportunities in the markets that we're looking at, we won't turn those down to get more of um, a feel and more intelligence of that market. But somewhat secondary markets that are you know, primed for a comeback, maybe such as Detroit, or ones that are still strong, um, but aren't a New York, a San Francisco, a Miami. So, you know, yeah. we're looking at Detroit, Fort Worth, Austin would be great. It's just expensive. <laughs> yes. Um, Another theme from this uh, conference, right? right? <laughs> um, Seattle, it's got yeah. a really great vibe. Um, Savannah, we would, you know, we love Savannah, Georgia. Yeah. Again, expensive to get yeah. into. But, you know, some of those that are a little bit off the beaten path, more in a cultural arts district. Yeah, yeah. Um, that really kind of exemplifies the market that we're in. Yeah, all places with really unique vibes I'm hearing yep. to, to match that brand and, and, and so cool. You know, I've been hearing that more and more, Michael, of the brands trying to give an authentic feel and genuine feel of the location around. So the fact that you, you know, whether it's curating art, uh, you know, from that local area, People want to experience that in their right. travel. So uh, very cool. Might have to visit the bus. Uh, I'm sure it's, it's I mean, a great Instagrammable <laughs> place. Very you know? much so, yeah. Brilliant marketing there, uh, getting that, because I'm sure, sure it's shared all over social media. Yeah. Um, we're, we're here just uh, wrapping up Q1. As you look for the rest of the 2024, do you have any goals, um, kind of vision that you that you want to see Castle Rock in, in the portfolio? It's, well, uh, you know, Kind of going back to the market yeah. question, you know, Q1 has been a little uh, soft just in general, but mm -hmm. the good news is that looking ahead, Q2 through the end of the year, um, you know, our pace is picking up. It, it's just kind of a slow start to get the engine going, I guess you yeah. will, for Nashville. So, you know, we have high hopes and really good optimism about the two hotels and the performance that they're going to give in 2024 and you know we feel that with a you know a couple of team members that we have that are going out and really trying to get deals done that we're just on the cusp of you know hopefully signing one or two deals to get another couple of bobbies out there all right well best of luck to you michael thank you so much for joining the sweet spot this is ryan Embry live at the hunter hotel investment conference thank you